Hi everyone, let us solve this problem. Uh, in the glass plate is given to us. Yeah, so this is a glass plate. I am just uh, briefing you the question. Glass plate is used and on this glass plate a light of certain wavelength lambda 4000 angstrom. 4000 angstrom. Angstrom is a unit of wavelength. This is the lambda is incident and we are getting the bright fringe we are getting the bright fringe fringe you, you know very well this is fringes you are getting the bright fringes in the transmitted region this is the transmitted region and above one is a we are also getting some fringes here also this is known as reflected region but it is not given in the problem if you are getting bright fringe in the transmitted region then dark fringe will be in the reflected region okay this is the reflected region so i hope this clear your question reflected region this is our glass plate this is the glass plate over which light is incident so as we know the concept we know the concept very very important concept and you also know for dark fringes in the transmitted region delta x equal to how much कितना होता है डार्क फ्रेंड्स ट्रांसमिटेड इज़ हमने डेल्टा एक्स इज़ इक्वल टू फॉर डार्क फ्रेंड्स आई एम सेइंग ओके डेल्टा एक्स इज़ इक्वल टू एन माइनस हाफ लैम्बडा ये तो पढ़ा है आप लोगों ने क्लियर लेकिन मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूँ दिस इज़ रॉंग दिस कंसेप्ट इज़ रॉंग व्हिच यू स्ट for getting the bright fringe, delta x in the transmitted region is L lambda. Okay. Delta x is equal to L lambda. This is the concept we will use. Delta x is equal to M lambda. Where N is the order of fringes. N is the order of fringe. I can write here. N is the order of fringe. Maybe first order, second order third order you just need to know this thing only in the transmitted reason if delta x is equal to n lambda for bright bright fringe bright one then for dark fringe there is there will be some dark fringe also in the transmitted reason so delta x is equal to n minus half lambda here so this is in the transmitted reason this is for dark dark fringe in the transmitted region dark fringe and above one is the bright fringe is in the where in the transmitted region only so let us, let us apply this concept delta x and uh, the thickness of the plate is this is the glass plate is the thickness it is t so delta x is equal to as it is mentioned in the problem, we are getting the bright fringe in the transmitted region of second order. So delta x is equal to L lambda, which is equal to 2 mu t. Delta x is equal to 2 mu t. 2 mu t is the thickness. In terms of thickness and refract index, how much is the path difference? Delta x what? Delta x is the path difference. Path difference and we know there's two mu t okay so you need to calculate what is mu what is mu for the glass that is 1.5 you just need to calculate how to calculate t and lambda second order to multiply lambda lambda is 4000 angstrom one angstrom is equal to 10 k power minus 10 meter so you will get the thickness of the plate is 
comes out to be 2.66 multiply 10 ki power minus 7 meter. I hope this clear your doubt. So if you have any doubt you can ask me every, every time I am always ready to help you people. This is our final answer. So always remember when incident light incident on a glass plate there is a two reason reflected reason and the transmitted reason. In the transmitted reason the for bright fringe delta x is equal to n lambda you need to by heart you should learn this and in the dark fringe for dark fringe delta x is equal to n minus half lambda but on the opposite hand if there is a bright if you are using the delta x is equal to n lambda for bright fringe delta x is equal to n minus half lambda for dark fringe just reverse it just reverse it for reflected reason just reverse it, reverse it for reflected reason. So in reflected reason for bright fringe delta x is n minus half lambda. For dark fringe delta x is n lambda. I hope this clear your doubt. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.